Here are the largest crocodiles ever measured with proof. At number three, we have Old Charlie. Old Charlie was a large saltwater crocodile caught in the Mary River of Australia on July 1st, 1974. He was unfortunately caught in an illegally set fishing net by poachers and killed by an axe. When officials arrived, the crocodile had already been skinned and the head removed by the poachers. The headless carcass of the crocodile, which was measured by wildlife officer Mr. V. Peterson, was about 18 feet, and the skull measured by Graham Webb and Harry Messel measured about 2 feet. Combining the length of the skull and the carcass, you have a crocodile that was, quote, at least 615 centimeters or 20 feet 2 inches. The skull of the crocodile still remains, but there are no more physical remains left. The crocodile was featured in the following scientific study. While this crocodile is discussed in the following study, the carcass of the crocodile was not measured by the authors of the paper, so it is possible the length of the crocodile could be inaccurate. However, the fact Webb and Messel included it in their study, these photos exist, and the huge skull still remains, lend some credibility. The next two crocs, there is zero doubt for their credibility. At number two, we have Lolong. Lolong was another large saltwater crocodile caught in the Philippines. After a series of deaths occurred due to a crocodile, a permit was issued to remove the problem croc. Many failed attempts occurred to capture the croc, with the animal many times snapping the steel noose trying to snatch him. Finally, in September of 2011, the giant crocodile was finally caught and transported to the Bunawan Eco Park. Lolong was named after a crocodile trapper who died of a heart attack shortly before his capture. During this time, Lolong's weight was announced at 1,075 kilograms or 2,370 pounds. On November 9, 2011, it was confirmed that Lolong was 617 centimeters or 20 feet 3 inches. Lolong was officially announced as the longest crocodile in captivity and was the largest crocodile ever to be caught alive. However, the villagers who saw Lolong said he was too small to be the killer and that an even bigger croc is still on the loose. Unfortunately, in February of 2013, Lolong died in captivity due to stress and an improper enclosure. His body is on display at the Philippine National Museum of Natural History. He can be read about in the following paper. At number one, we have the Fly River Crocodile. This is a saltwater crocodile caught in a fishing net in the Fly River of Papua New Guinea. On October 11th, 1979, this crocodile had drowned in a fishing net and was pulled to shore. The crocodile was skinned and chopped up with supposedly a deer buck found in its stomach. When Jerome Montague and Romulus Whitaker arrived to examine the crocodile, only the head and skin remained, but this was enough to get a measurement. The crocodile was 620 centimeters in length, or 20 feet 4 inches. This makes it officially the longest crocodile ever officially measured. What's amazing too is that this crocodile could have been longer as part of the tail was missing from the skin they measured and the skin may have been shrunk a bit. He can be read about in the following papers. Now some of you are wondering why I didn't put Gustav, Chris, Kalia, or other crocs. Here's the thing, they aren't confirmed. First off, crocs like Gustav have never actually been measured and it's all visual estimation. It's surprising too that the Guinness World Records accepted a visual estimation of a 20 foot crocodile in India once. With a tape measure never put on these crocs, we really don't know their length. The problem with visual estimates is that it's hard for many to visually estimate the length of a crocodilian. Take it from a person who deals with nuisance alligator reports, people are all over the place when it comes to visual estimates. This can even extend to crazy stories such as the Kelly Slater story of a crocodile that's supposedly 15 feet wide, making it the Humpty Dumpty of crocodiles. Therefore, accounts such as these are not to be fully accepted. Some other supposedly measured 20 foot crocs have photos tied to them, but there's no other proof such as other body measurements or body parts such as the skull. Many times, the photos use forced perspective to make the croc appear bigger, so we can't always trust the photo. All we have is the word of the people that supposedly killed and or took the photo of the giant crocodile. Other crocs, such as Chris, were said to be measured, but there's no physical evidence of these crocs left. No complete animal, no skull, not even a photo. Also, for your information, this photo of Chris isn't Chris, it's another croc killed over 40 years before Chris was supposedly shot. Other crocs, such as Kalia, only have skulls as evidence of their reported length. While this of course is a good indicator if the animal was 20 feet or longer, it's just an estimate, not a precise answer. Out of all the big croc stories, these three are the only ones to have been examined scientifically and have physical evidence to prove their length. 
and only the top two are 100% without a doubt 20 foot crocs. In addition, the saltwater crocodile is the only species of modern crocodilian confirmed to reach 20 feet in length. So does that mean we disregard every single giant croc story, skull, or photo? No, it doesn't. The fact of the matter is that we've only been scientifically recording lengths of crocodilians for less than 100 years, and I truly believe some of these accounts are indeed true. Just because a scientist didn't examine it, or there's no physical evidence doesn't mean the crocodile wasn't that big, it's just we can't confirm it. There is no doubt that for a long time large crocodilians were killed in mass, and thus the giant gene for these animals was literally being killed off. That means that the likelihood for these giants to exist is greatly lessened, but I don't think it's zero. Rom and Nick Whitaker even wrote in a paper that while the saltwater crocodile is confirmed to reach lengths of 20 feet and above, they were quite certain that the Indian gharial, Timisima, American crocodile, and Nile crocodile can reach lengths of over 20 feet. There are even other species that surprisingly have claims as well. The reason giant crocs matter is because they offer an insight into how well the gene pool of the species were in the past and how the genes are presently with the threats they faced with humans. While 20 footers in all honesty were never the normal length of any modern crocodilian, I do believe they were once more common, and hopefully there's still some more out there. With all this in mind, don't put down every story you hear of a giant crocodile, but be more skeptical. To learn more about the animals you just saw, buy my book, What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, their regenerating tails, alligators and sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book looks at a variety of subjects many people, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and I desperately wanted to dispel the myths that have persisted so long. Buy What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy.